Um, I bought a domain slash blog and I am building out content on it. Link provided via DM. So I already kind of read these. I don't think we even need to look at it really. Um, I yeah. can see there's a lot of spam anchors and backlinks going to the site, but some of them are actually from high authority websites. I can also see that the DA dropped a ton in December or January, as did traffic, but the traffic recovered and now the DA has, hasn't recovered. It's SEMrush's rating. Um, should I ignore all the spam stuff for now? Any general thoughts about it? Yeah, so the same stuff stands for basically anything, anytime we talk about spam and disavowing, right? Uh, like you said, you know, traffic and rankings are the most important thing, but spam backlinks aren't the only thing that affects that. If you're sure that the spam, that you, like you're really sure that you think it's the spam backlinks that caused it, you can start disavowing. But just be aware that if you don't really know what you're doing, you might end up disavowing some stuff that could end up, that's actually helping you. Uh, so we really can't recommend disavowing unless you really know what you're doing. Um, otherwise, you said your traffic recovered. So what's even the point of disavowing at this point, right? Um, you know, so you, you know, you, you could end up hurting yourself and your traffic's back to where it used to be. So I, I'd probably go ahead and just say, because you're asking this question, I'd, I might stay away from it um, and, and not disavow. Just not worry about it. Move forward building quality links um, and dilute your anchor profile that way rather than trying to disavow. Um, if you were the more experienced person, you really know what you knew what you were looking for and you really knew exactly what links to disavow. Uh, some people like to disavow proactively, but I, I don't think I can recommend it in this situation. Um, what do you think, Nick? Yeah, I agree completely. Um, if you're not sure what you're doing, disavow can definitely hurt you even further. Um, yeah, and it's so, like, what's even the gain at this point since he got his traffic back? Right. Um, you yeah, just and move forward most likely. I'll tell you this, at least at this point in time, there are a lot, I don't know what you're involved in, but if it's affiliate marketing or something like that, there is a lot of volatility going on. And um, to me, it seems like that's probably like part of the play is um, just get used to a little bit of volatility. Um, keep doing what you're doing if you know what you're doing is accurate and what you're supposed to be doing so proper backlinking proper content creation etc um but yeah disavow can be a topsy-turvy uh kind of thing and typically we say don't mess with it unless you're 100 percent sure that's what you need to do hey everyone thanks for watching be sure to check the links below for more info on this topic as well as other cool stuff like seo case studies our facebook community and our link building services and like always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks, and happy ranking.